So a lot of you haven't been listening to Mark Basil for maybe as long as I have. He's been coming on to retail trading spaces for well over a year. All I can tell you is that everything I've ever heard from him has always been all talk. And it's always been the wrong talk. And it's always been about the wrong stock. And it's always been bringing attention when real attention should have been getting shown one place. And he's trying to make some attention show up at another place. And the only thing that Mark has ever been used for is a retail distraction. Because I know that's true. And I know that the history will support me on that. Like, they can delete space calls, they can delete accounts, but all that stuff is saved. All that stuff is coming to light. And so, unfortunately, what I'm seeing is they do this gay thing with Mark, Mullen does, and it would not surprise me in the slightest fucking bit if the lawsuit being fucking filed or the the hiring of Mark Basil to look at the debt lenders was done by the debt lenders. Because it seems like they still just got just as much power as David. Like, it still doesn't feel like David got the power. And so, what it feels like is it feels like the lawsuit already going is real, is powerful, and is going to lead to a squeeze, but it feels like they're trying to set up another narrative to where, as it's squeezing, we're going to have a lot of fake Mullen bitches saying about how it was because of Mark and how great Mark is here to save us and all this bullshit. That's what it feels like. And so I'm just blocking everybody I see. Anybody say anything positive about Mark, I'm just blocking instantly. I don't need any of the old Mullen retailers like... The people I'm actually after are the people that come after the squeeze. So I'm just so done with you guys. You will suck. You will suck for getting excited about this information. I despise you for it. Like literally there is absolutely nothing that can come from Mark Basil. Except for three months from now going through all the bullshit we just went through since August 29th filing our original lawsuit. And you guys are fucking clapping your hands, acting like the shit we already got going on, like, won't finish before he even gets fucking started. And by finish, I just mean get the fucking trial. We got pre-trial on December 21st, and if we get out of fucking pre-trial without a fucking dismissal, then that means we've already won. Making this Mark Basil shit fucking joke. And so what scares me is that the lawsuit's going to fucking come out. And it doesn't scare me, but it just annoys the fuck out of me. This lawsuit fucking drops. And and I'm not talking about the Mark Basil one. I'm talking about the one fucking coming tomorrow. And we start running. We have a great week. And Mark Basil just keeps on talking, keeps holding space calls, acting like he's part of all this fucking shit going on, and he doesn't have a goddamn thing to do with anything. (laughs) There's nothing he can bring of value. It's too late. If he would have started this a week after we filed the first lawsuit, I would have been like, great, let's see who gets there first. But the head of the fucking snake on the fucking debt lenders and the fucking market manipulators are the same fucking people. There is no fucking difference. And I know Mark represents the worst people that are here to distract from us that never invested a fucking penny but pretend to lost everything in MMTLP. And fucking Mark gives them a platform acting like they're real fucking retail investors that got screwed and they're fucking liars. 99.9% of people you see with MMTLP in their fucking picture never fucking bought it. And they just pretend to play the fucking victim of that stock to try to distract you from the real fucking victimhood that happened in fucking Mullen. <sighs> (laughs) 
like I said, it feels like the squeeze is happening. It feels like it's from the original lawsuit. It feels like, like this, if the squeeze happens tomorrow, or let's just say the lawsuit comes out tomorrow, squeeze doesn't fucking happen till Friday. And let's say that there's some space calls and some other bullshit coming around. Like there is no, There, if that happens, there's not going to be any complete and obvious identifier as to why Mullen is squeezing. And we're going to have a thousand motherfuckers getting up talking about all the stupid reasons why they think the stock is squeezing. And I just got this fucking weird ass feeling that 99.9% .9 of you motherfuckers are going to be saying Mark Basil. And it's not because you actually believe that. It's obvious because I think you're a fake fucking fraud getting paid to say shit like that. What a fake motherfucker. He's definitely a garbage man. Can't trust a man like that. Oh, what do I do with these people? Well, like I said, anyone posting positive about Mark Basil just going to get insta-blocked. I don't need to hear from you. Like when the squeeze comes, if I got to take my million dollars and go and give give it away to fucking some gang members, just go assassinate a bunch of people. Like, I don't give a fuck. If Mark Basil comes in here and somehow fumbles the whole fucking situation, like he's fucking first on my list before I fucking... Do it to myself. Oh, man. Well, I'm just waiting till tomorrow. I just want the lawsuit update tomorrow. I'm going to read that shit. I'm expecting to say a lot of good things, but with this Mark crap coming out, it doesn't feel like the squeeze is happening tomorrow anymore. It do not feel that way. It feel like we got another week. God damn it. I don't think David has any any influence over what's happening right now. I think the debt fucking the debt lenders have owned the company since the beginning, been forcing the reverse splits, and been forcing David Mitri to do as he's told. Otherwise they have the right in the contract to fucking kick him out of his own company. And I think Mark was hired by somebody other than David Mitri. And I'm so fucking sick of it. It just feels like Lawrence Harge 2.0. Another fake motherfucker come in and build you up just to, at the very end, break you down. Otherwise, it's for squeezing, and he's just here to steal the thunder and act like he had something to do with it. And if that's the case, he's definitely a dead man walking. Like, if that's the case, if we're squeezing and he's just going to be there with the spotlight, starting a space call, taking 100,000 people, like the 100,000 people that want to come see why Mullen's going crazy, and they all just end up at his fucking space call, there's no amount of money I won't pay to kill that motherfucker. <laughs>